Okay, so today we're going to learn about laws of exponents. I think you guys learned about exponents in 7th grade, but we just want to do some review and then I'm going to pro uh, provide some new information. So as you um, listen to my video, make sure you're taking notes on the same guided notes that I handed out last class. So make sure you follow along. So let's start. So let's recall, an expression of forms of x plus n is called a power. Anything that we have, a number and an exponent, we call that power. And represents the product you obtained when x is used as a factor of n times. And we call the x, the bottom number, as a base. And the number n is called the exponent. So, first rule is product of powers. So, when you multiply the two powers that have same base, so for example, a to the nth power, a to the nth power, what do I do? We add the exponents. And we multiply the coefficients. Okay, so for example, actually, x to the third power times x to the fifth power. They have same base. You know, how do we do this? How do I simplify? If you look at it, x to the third power means x times x times x, correct? x to the fifth power means x times x times x times x times x. So altogether, how many x's? x to the eighth power. So that's how we got that. But when we have x to the 20th power, x to the 30th power, we can't really write out all the x's to figure out the rule. So the rule is, when you have the powers with the same base, we just add the coefficients. So a to the nth power times a to the nth power is a to the n plus nth power. Now, what do I do? For the next example, 3x to the second power y times 5x to the third power y to the second power. So let's take care of the same base first. x to the second power times x to the third power. What did I say about same base? If they have same base, what do we do with exponents? We add the exponents. So x to the fifth power. And this is y to the first power and y to the second power. So all together, y to the third power. Now, what am I going to do with the 3 and 5? If you look at it, 3 and 5, what do you see in between those two numbers? It's multiplication. So all we do is we multiply the coefficient. So that's going to be 15. So again, the rule is we multiply the coefficients, we add the exponents. Let's try the next one. x 5, x to the 7th power times x to the 6th power. So we have the same base, x to the 7th and x to the 6th. So what am I going to do with the exponents? We add the exponents. So x to the 13th power. We add 7 plus 6, which is 13. This is 13. Now we have 5 in front of it. So what am I going to do? Just bring it down. Right. Let's try the next one. 4ab to the 6th power times negative 7a to the 2nd power, b to the 3rd power. So, let's take care of the coefficients first. 4 and then negative 7. What am I going to do? It's a multiplication, so we're going to multiply 4 times negative 7, which is negative 28. And then a times a to the 2nd power. Anytime we have a by itself, we put invisible 1 as an exponent. So a to the first power times a to the second power, which is a to the third power. b to the sixth power times b to the third power, you still add the exponents, so b to the ninth power. So you have to remember the rule, guys. When you multiply two powers that have same base, we add the exponents, we multiply the coefficients. How about the next one? Now we're doing power to power. To find the power to a power, we multiply exponents. Like So for example, 2 to the third power, 
去的哦。Second part. That's power to a power. I said the rule is multiplying the exponents, but how do we get that? This is how we got it. So two to the third power, two to the second power. That means we are multiplying two to the third power how many times? Twice. And that's gonna be two to the sixth power. That's how we got the rule. So any time we have power to a power, we multiply powers. Okay. Multiply the exponents. So. Two to the fifth power, two to the sixth power. What am I going to do with the five and six? We multiply, so it's going to be two to the thirtieth power. Same thing. K to the fifth power, to the ninth power. What do we do with the exponents? We multiply them. So K to the nine times five, forty. Ooh, this time we have power to power to power. So what do I need to do? We multiply two times three times two. Two times three is six. Six times two is twelve. So three to the twelfth power. So so far we learned product of power. So when you multiply two powers with same base, we add exponents. When we have power to power, we multiply the exponents. So far, so good. How about the next one? How about powers of products? To find the power of a product, find the power of each factor and multiply. What do you mean? So when we do a times b to the nth power, all we do is we are kind of distributing. We distribute m to a, m to b, but we are not multiplying. We are just raising to the nth power. So what we are doing here, for the example. Two negative two x y to the third power. So all we do is we distribute this three as an exponent to every single number and the letter. So what we do? Negative two to the third power. X to the third power. Y to the third power. Once you're done with that, make sure you simplify the numeric base. If your base is number, then you make sure you simplify it. What's negative two to the third power? That means negative two times negative two times negative two, which is negative eight. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, please put it in your calculator. Double check it. So your final answer is negative eight x to the third y to the third. Same thing here. So we have two as an exponent. All you do is you distribute four to the four to a to b, and you're raising to the power. So four to the second power, a to the second power, b to the second power. Is that right? Now we have a numeric basis of four to the second power. Is that eight? No. Four to the second power is four times four, which is sixteen. Sixteen a to the second power, b to the second power. Okay, just ignore the bell. Four x to the second power, y to the fifth power, two to the third power. Same thing. We're going to distribute three to every single number and the variable. So four to the third power. You good? Now it's x to the second power. To the third power. So what do we do with these two exponents? We multiply、so、x to the sixth power. And what do we do with these two? We multiply again. So y to the fifteenth power. Four to the third power. Well, it's not four times three. It's four times four times four, which is sixty-four x to the sixth y to the fifteenth power. One last thing. This is a really easy rule. Any time any number is raised to the power of zero is one. So a to the power of zero is one. Two to the power of zero is what? One. Four a b to the power of zero is one. Negative zero point two five to the zero power is one. So any number raised to the power of zero is one. 
That's it for today. Have a good day.